You'll hear us refer to KERS a lot this season, an abbreviation that stands for Kinetic Energy Recovery System. KERS recovers wasted energy generated under braking. It's then stored within the car and the driver can call on the added energy at the push of a button. For just under seven seconds a lap, the system can be used, generating about 80 brake horsepower, either for increasing overtaking, defending a position, or importantly, off the line at the start. But use it at the right time. Once the season begins, the engineer's headache becomes the driver's headache, as they have to put the system into practice. It's a completely new system. No one has any race experience with it yet. So we will see, you know, we will see how big is the effect on the start, how big is the effect on racing. Will we be able to overtake or will others be able to overtake? To use it as a driver is not that, uh, that difficult. It's just a little bit more action when you're actually driving the car. Obviously in the race when we are fighting with someone, uh, for sure we can use the cars. Uh, it's a choice of the driver. We get uh, 80 horsepower more than, uh, than if we are not using it. So when everything works well and we can use it, this is it's quite a good, good help for lap times. Williams, an outfit with engineering excellence at its core, have used rule changes in the past to increase their competitiveness. And they've taken a unique approach this time around too, using a flywheel system that they think could give them an important edge. This is the Williams version of the Kurs system, totally different to every other team. Talk us through it. OK, well, this is a, a larger version of the flywheel, which is actually on the Formula 1 car. The flywheel itself stores its energy by spinning its mass very quickly. So as, as the car is recovering energy and wants, wants to store it, the flywheel spins faster and faster. Now if we turned up at any other Formula One team at the moment, we wouldn't be seeing a spinning disc like that, we'd be seeing some kind of big old battery that's going to store all the power. You've gone for a flywheel opposed, as opposed to a battery, why have you done that? Batteries are particularly suitable when you want a lot of energy and not a lot of power. Flywheels are more suitable when you want a lot of power continuously cycling with less energy. So we believe for these particular regulations and for hybrid cars generally, the flywheel is the best solution. And that's the point. The Kerr's green energy drive is seen as an important F1 development that could eventually power all types of transport from buses and trains to your family car.